En esta lección vas a aprender los 100 adjetivos más comunes en inglés que debes saber. Los aprenderás con sus contrarios y los verás en contexto con ejemplos para mostrarte cómo usarlos bien. Esta es la segunda parte de la lección sobre los 100 adjetivos comunes que debes saber en inglés. Cada semana subimos más lecciones así para ayudarte a mejorar el inglés. Si te gustan estas lecciones, suscríbete ahora para no perder ninguna. En esta lección, recuerda que las palabras pueden tener múltiples significados. Vamos a enseñarte los significados más comunes. Recuerda también que estas palabras a veces se pueden usar como nouns, verbs, adverbs, etc. No solamente adjetivos. Y finalmente, si tienes cualquier duda, pregúntenos en los comentarios. Empezamos. Happy versus sad. Happy versus sad. You need a reason to be sad. You don't need a reason to be happy. Open versus closed. Open versus closed. When one door is closed, another is open. General versus specific. General versus specific. I don't prefer any specific type of pizza. I just like pizza in general. Dark versus bright. Dark versus bright. Just because you've had a dark past doesn't mean you can't have a bright future. Healthy versus ill or sick. Healthy versus ill or sick. I try to eat healthy foods so that I don't get ill. Expensive versus cheap. Expensive versus cheap. Don't ask why healthy food is so expensive. Ask why junk food is so cheap. Useful versus useless. Useful versus useless. Absorb what is useful and discard what is useless. More versus less. More versus less. The more we value things, the less we value ourselves. Slow versus fast. Slow versus fast. Slow steady progress is better than fast daily excuses. Clean versus dirty. Clean versus dirty. If you put clean water in a dirty bottle, you have dirty water. First versus last. First versus last. You are the first and last thing on my mind each day. Fat versus thin. Fat versus thin. There's a lot more to life than how fat or thin you are. Clear versus blurry. Clear versus blurry. Have you ever taken a lot of blurry pictures and not a single clear picture? Interesting versus boring. Interesting versus boring. What were the most interesting and boring subjects for you in school? Fun versus boring. Fun versus boring. Learning English doesn't have to be boring, it can be fun. Nice or kind versus mean. Nice or kind versus mean. Be nice to people even when they are mean to you. Delicious versus disgusting. Delicious versus disgusting. Pineapple pizza is delicious, and cabbage is disgusting. Do you agree? Heavy versus light. Heavy versus light. Tell me something that's as light as a feather, and something that's as heavy as a car. Quiet versus loud. Quiet versus loud. Quiet people have the loudest minds. Polite versus rude. Polite versus rude. It's polite to give a waiter a tip in some countries and rude in other countries. 
Dangerous versus safe. Dangerous versus safe. The most dangerous thing you can do in life is play it safe. Busy versus lazy. Busy versus lazy. Everything is easy when you're busy, but nothing is easy when you're lazy. Wide versus narrow. Wide versus narrow. It's not fun to drive a wide car on a narrow road. Simple versus complicated. Simple versus complicated. It's really complicated to make something simple, but it's very simple to make something complicated. Funny versus serious. Funny versus serious. Do you consider yourself a funny person or a serious person? ¿Cuántas de estas palabras conocías y cuántas son nuevas? Apunte las nuevas palabras ahora en tu lista de vocabulario que estudias para recordarlos. Busca formas de usarlos en frases que dices en inglés. Y recuerda a suscribirte a este canal porque más adelante pondremos más videos con ejercicios para comprobar cuánto recuerdas de estas palabras. Dinos en los comentarios qué te ha parecido esta lección y si tienes cualquier duda. If you liked this lesson, hit the like button and I'll see you in the next lesson.